Hello and welcome back to another tutorial for APFE. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking to you today about the depth chart and how that works in the new the new version. But before we do that, we're going to show you the old uh, depth chart so you can see exactly what it used to look like before. This was the old layout, and what you would do is you would go into the uh, the position and you would basically pick one of the players and move them up and down this way okay so that's the old way of doing things and we're going to talk to you now about the new method so in the new method it's a lot more drag and drop user friendly what you're going to want to do is go to the depth menu and inside the depth chart what you're going to get is this uh, you're going to be presented with the starting lineup okay and what you can see i'll go through each uh, piece of functionality here and it's pretty in depth the things that you can actually do here and we're going to walk through that now so first thing uh we'll go through is these buttons on, on the top right what you'll see is offense defense and the kicking and defense i put a fence on there i mean not the best icon in the world but it works so when clicking on these, you're going to cycle through each um, each area, special teams, defense, and your offense. And you're going to be looking at your starters in this view. You also have the team header here that shows you the number of uh, star players for your team, your team name, coach, total players, and your team menu so if you wanted to switch around to a different team you can easily do that and change teams to whatever team you want but we're going to go back to the legends and take a look at this great team that came with all pro football so on the on this what i call it the starting lineup menu or screen what you have here is uh, all of the starting players for every position in the lineup Okay, so on offense, you have your QB, fullback, halfback, wide receivers on each side, and your line along with your tight end. If you go to your defense, you're going to have your entire defense, and it shows you the outside linebackers, your inside linebackers, your defensive line, your secondary, and, um, and it's all lined up so you can see those starters, right? Then if you go to the special teams, you're going to have your kick returner, your primary kick returner, your secondary kick returner, your punt returner, your kicker, and your punter. Now on each of these screens, what you can do is you can actually click on the jersey number and that will bring up your player details. Okay. Um, and from here, you can actually go to the edit if you wanted to edit your player and you can then go back to the depth chart. This is the way that I like to... Uh, create my rosters. I'll go to the depth chart screen and I'll go to the actual uh, the next screen I'm going to show you here. But what I do is I cycle back and forth between the editor, player editor, and the depth chart screen. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is I click on this toggle switch here and what that does is it switches you over to the full depth chart. Okay. And what you're going to see here is there is a lot of information inside of each one of these bars here. Okay, each bar here is a player bar. And this is very intuitive because, um, or powerful, I guess I guess I should say, and very dynamic. Because there's a lot that you can do straight from here. So let's say, for instance, um, actually, before we do that, let, let's rewind. So we'll, I'll walk through each one of these items that you see in the player bar. Okay, first thing you're going to see is the player number. And then next to that you're going to have the star if they have a star. And then the name, first initial and then last name. And then you're going to have the uh the actual position. So these are the tackles, the guards, the centers, QBs, wide receivers, etc. Um this these colors that you see here are their overall rating. Right, so John Elway is a pretty high overall. If you click on the icon, you'll see it'll highlight, and you'll see that his overall is a 94. That overall is a derived uh, number that you know obviously I created inside the editor on my own. But what this shows you is their overall. Now, if I take 
John Elway. So let me do this first. So in the old version, you know, you, to move the players around, as I showed you a minute ago, you have to actually click on the position and then move them through these up and down arrows, right? Well, in the new editor, it's really simple. All you have to do is just drag and drop. So if I want to make Jerry Rice or Pearson, if I want to make him a starter, I can drag him, drop him, and you'll see that um, as you move players around, you'll notice that these players move around too. So if I want to take Pearson and make him a starter on, this, on the right receiving line, it'll automatically move him down on the left. So it's very dynamic so you don't have two guys starting in the same position, the same guy. Okay. Um, what you can also do in this version is you can also say, you know what? I want Jerry Rice to be my quarterback. I can actually take Jerry Rice and throw him, throw him over to the QB. And as you can see, his overall dropped dramatically. So if I bring him back, he's got a high overall. You can see it's green. And if I drag him over to the QB, now he's a lot less of an overall. He's a 37 because he's not a quarterback, right? And what's cool about this is that when, you, when you're making rosters and you want to switch around the position, you don't have to go inside the editor, the player editor, and actually change their position there. You can do it right, right from here. And the thing that you're going to have to keep an eye out for is that if you end up with too many players in a position or too little players in a position, it won't let you go anywhere. It will tell you that you have to have the set required number of players. Now, one thing I've noticed on the Simhead site is there are some people that actually put more players in these positions than they're actually um, than they actually should be. So like you might have three running backs or three quarterbacks. And I'm not sure how the game works with that. So for right now I'm locking it down. But in the future if you guys feel that this is something that you think is um, should be changed and unlocked then I'll then let me know and we'll see you know we'll see how that how that works okay so let's go ahead and put put this guy over here as a center and you can actually see that when you do that when you do that you can't go anywhere you can't go anywhere until it's valid so until I have a valid set I can't go anywhere so you can see here um, I just put two centers in here and it won't let me go anywhere okay um actually what this is a little bit different so let me let me say that again so if there's nobody in the position so if you take everybody out of the position if you have at least one or more of these empty position slots you cannot you literally can't go anywhere but if you have at least one or more players in a position you can actually go from offense to defense but you can't leave the depth chart okay so keep that in mind all right now let's put the people back the way I think we had them and then let's see if we can go places. We still can't. So it's saying three tackles, three guards, right? So we need to have three guards and now we're able to get out, okay? So it really locks you down and I spent time doing this because I don't want people to have errors. I want you to be able to play all pro football and if you think that you can get away with more positions, that might break the roster. So I don't do it. But if you like I said, if you guys want it unlocked, just let me know and I'll probably change it. But I want to I want someone to show me that it doesn't break it and prove to me that it works well and then I'll unlock it. But for now, it's being locked down. Okay? So if you jump into here and you can't get out, you can always close your program and just escape the whole thing. Um if you don't want to mess with your roster, or you can fix it and save and it'll create a backup of your roster anyways, one, one or the other. But, um, but that's, a, that's a rule that I've created so that you don't make mistakes, okay? What you can also do, as I mentioned, is you, if you click on these, you can see the, the details. If I wanna make him the starter again, I can. And you can either click on the edit button here or you can actually double click. Double clicking on the name will bring you to the editor. So as I go through and I create different players, I'll just double click, I'll make my changes, and then I'll go back to the depth chart and I'll go to my next player. That's the way that I create um, players. One thing that I was that I had a, an issue with that I think has been fixed, but you guys can let me know, is going back and forth and redrawing all this stuff. Like 
going here, coming back, and then having everything kind of keep loading and reloading. I was having some memory issues, um, but I think they're fixed. But if you guys happen to see a crash here, then obviously let me know and we will, uh, you know, I'll support it the best I can. All right. Lastly, if we go to the special teams, same concept here. If I want to make skip Jesse, um, the primary, it won't let me, it'll say you can't because he's already the secondary. He can't be in two positions at once. Right. Um, so there's a lot, there are a lot of help dialogue type messages, as you see here, all over this system. And as I've shown you in previous videos, if you just click on the question mark, it will take you right to the help section. So you can actually look and see information on the page that you're using and get the help right there without having to worry about searching blogs or forums or videos. So a lot of this stuff is very, you know, very nice and at your disposal. Um, but this is the depth chart. So you have your kick returners, your punt returners, your kicker. Obviously in this game, you really only have one of each, but if you had more that you added in, then you're going to see more in these drop downs. Um, but this screen is more simple or simplified because there's not really any need to drag things around. But if you go to the defense, the same concept works here. Um, I can already move, I can move players around. What you saw there was you can't move a player to the same position. Doesn't make any sense, right? So if I go from defensive tackle to, to defensive tackle, it'll say, no, you can't, right? So that's pretty much it. And also the last thing is this toggle here, it remembers whether you're in edit mode or not. So if you go to a different screen and you come back, it will keep you in whatever mode you left it at. So if you want to go back to the starting mode and you move away and move back, it will keep you there. So that's pretty much it on the depth chart, guys. Hope you enjoy. I spent a lot of time on the functionality with the drag and drop and all the rules to make sure that you don't, you know, you don't break your roster. And, um, and I really, really like the way it came out. So hopefully you guys did too. Leave comments if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next tutorial for APFE. Happy modding. Peace.